Hi everyone, I'm Nita, back with a new video. This one is going to be all about pages um, and specifically where to get them because we've had them now for a while and we've seen plenty of ways to get them. Um, some are better, some are worse, some you should really not waste your time on. So here's the best ways how to get a lot of pages the fastest. So in my opinion, the very best option is probably the Constellation event. It's best for many, many things, including pages, because it doesn't take a lot to collect all the star fragments. And since there's several ones that will give you pages, it's almost like getting them for free, really. So Constellation event, even though it doesn't happen that often, when it does, be sure to log in the game and take full advantage of it. Another great option that gives a lot of pages is, of course, Magical Milestones, though it does require buying the bonus reward key, but I personally will never stop advertising how good it is to buy that, once again, for multiple reasons. But yeah, if you buy the key, like this season, you get 120 pages. I mean, how can you say no to that? Seriously, especially if you really want the pages. It's just... And the, the key is not that expensive. You can easily stack up on 275 gems every month. It's not really a problem. Um, but if we kind of turn away from events that happen when they happen, um, then of course there's tappies, several different kinds. You get the pile of pages that is by the library that will give you one page every day. Then there's tappies in the clubs. Um, both ones that you gradually unlock as you progress in the clubs as well as the tappies you get from doing the club time limited side quests though none of them are like 100 percent reliable when it comes to pages they can give you energy coins creature food or pages so you never know what you're gonna get each time but the more tappies you have the greater the chances that every once in a while you will get a page page from that as well uh, it will be one each time and then of course tappies in your dorm room also from time limited side quests currently there are two time limited side quests that you can do that will guarantee you a tappy that will give you only exclusively pages one is a scandal in hogsmeade the other one is the current one torvus and the troubled forest um, so these two also as the main reward will give you a tappy that gives you a page uh, once every 24 hours whilst when you look at each of them separately you think well one page within 24 hours it's not a lot but i mean just put together the two time limited cycles that i just mentioned and let's say the pile of pages those three exclusively give a page every day so three tappies times seven days that's 21 tappies uh, 21 pages within a week already and let's say you get even if you just get four pages throughout the week from all the tappies in the clubs that still adds up to 25 pages within a week within a month you get 100 add another 120 from the magical milestones 220 and let's say constellation event happens once within a month still combining all the star fragments that give you pages i think it's like 20 30 or 40 pages each I'm pretty sure that also adds up to about 100. There's a 300. Within a month, you're already ready for a time-limited side quest from the adventures section. Um, so that's what you're doing this for, isn't it, right? Um, there's, of course, a couple other options for the pages. One is Daily Planner. Um, also, not every day thing. Uh, it's... I'm not sure what the frequency is. Once a week for sure, maybe twice a week, you can get three pages. Um, not a huge amount. And well, it also depends. Like Some people do the daily planner every day just as a habit. So it doesn't really make much of a difference. And getting the three pages like, oh, great, cool. I can add some to my collection. Um, for those who are more picky when it comes to the daily planner and choose more carefully when they do it, when they don't do it, um, three pages may not be the selling argument why that day you're going to do the daily planner. But 
if we're talking about where to get them, this is, of course, an option. And then, of course, there's all the other events. I put them kind of in the last place, not because they don't give a decent amount. It's like 30, 40 pages usually, which is not a bad amount at all. And you get these events all the time. Uh, it's, it's more about the fact that you just have to put more effort into getting these pages. But they're not ever like final rewards. It's more like second, third option. So even if you don't go all in for each event, you can get the pages. So they're not a bad option. They definitely are actually much better option than the daily planner. Um, but be careful with the events. Not all of them uh, are worth the effort. For example, like dueling doesn't actually give you pages. I haven't seen a dueling event giving pages as one of the rewards. House Pride Crest event, however, definitely give pages full marks. It used to be one of the best options because it would give like 80, 90 pages at a time and you only needed to get to like sixth place. It's still pretty high, but doable, much more doable than let's say winning full marks. But now I don't know why they've decreased the amount like every time, like last time, what, what was it, 30? 30 pages, I think, or I, I don't even, I'm not sure if it was even 40 pages. It was, I think it was 30 pages from full marks. And considering how much time and effort and coins and energy you spend to get anywhere in full marks, it's just so not worth it anymore. I don't know why they changed it. I thought they wanted people to do full marks. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That those are your options. If I forgot something, my apologies. I, I really hope that I didn't. Um, but yeah, this would be kind of my scale. Uh, which are the best options? Which are the most efficient ones? I uh, hope you find this helpful. Good luck stacking. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.